Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to our North Sioux City Community Library's online story time for preschoolers. So glad that you joined us today. And my name is Miss Terry, and I am so very glad that you joined to listen. Today, we're going to talk about the land of make-believe. Can you think of any stories that you have read that are make-believe? Maybe you've read some books about princesses and maybe a frog. Um, but you think of some books and maybe this week you can read others. But I think we'll get some wiggles out. So what I'd like you to do is we're going to start a beat. So hands up like this and then we're going to slap our knees and clap our hands. So it goes like this. We're going to get a little beat going. And then we're going to pick it up. We'll start slow. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quietly as we can. Hello, good job. Let's do it again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as loud as we can. Hello, good job. Let's do it again. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as quickly as we can. Hello, good job. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as slowly as we can. Good job. One more. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as high as we can. Can you make your voice go really high? Hello. Really high? Good job. I wonder what comes, what's the opposite of high? Oh, let's find out. Bread and butter, marmalade and jam. Let's say hello as low, good job, as we can, hello, good job, good job. Well, I brought some little gingerbread today, and maybe it's a favorite cookie of yours. But we have a little saying, and let's count them. So there's one, two, three, four, five little gingerbread men. And the saying goes like this. Five little gingerbread lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away. Catch me, catch me if you can. I run really fast. I'm a gingerbread man. What does that leave us with? One, two, three, four. Four little gingerbread men lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away. Catch me, catch me if you can. I run really fast. I'm a gingerbread man. Let's count how many are left. One, two, three. Three little gingerbread men lying on a tray. One jumped up and ran away. Catch me, catch me if you can. I run really fast. I'm a gingerbread man. And that leaves us with one, two. Two little gingerbread men lying on a tray. This one jumped off and he ran away. Catch me, catch me if you can. I run really fast. I'm a gingerbread man. Leaves us with one. One little gingerbread man lying on a tray. He jumped off and ran away. Catch me, catch me if you can. I run really fast. I'm a gingerbread man. Oh, oh no more gingerbread men lying on a tray. They all jumped up and they ran away. Catch me, they said, if you can. They run really fast. 
because they're gingerbread men. Good job. Well, I picked this book. It's a classic fairy tale collection. And if you come into the library and you pick this book to take home, you will have, there's like eight different stories in here. But the story we're going to read is called The Three Billy Goat Gruff. And let's see how this goes. Once upon a time, there were three billy goats. They were all named Gruff. One day, the three billy goat Gruffs set off to look for fresh grass to eat. See, they don't have any grass here, but ooh, look over here. In the meadow on the other side of the river, they saw the best, greenest grass ever. But to get to the grass, they had to cross the bridge over the river. No one dared to cross the bridge because a terrible troll lived under it. Then the three billy goat gruffs had an idea. The little billy goat gruff would go first. Nervously, he stepped onto the bridge. Trick, trot, trick, trot, he went. Ooh, look what's waiting right there. Let's see what he does. Who's that trick trotting over my bridge? shouted the terrible troll. I'm the little billy goat gruff, said the goat. I'm a troll, full de roll, and I'll eat you for my supper bellowed the terrible troll. Please don't eat me. I'm too skinny to eat, said the little billy goat gruff. My brother will be here soon. He's bigger than me, much tastier. The terrible troll was greedy, so he decided to wait for the bigger, tastier goat. He allowed the little billy goat gruff to cross the bridge into the meadow where the best and greenest grass grew. Next, it was the turn of the middle billy goat gruff. He went slowly, trip, trot, trip, trot over the bridge. Who's that trip trotting over my bridge? shouted the terrible troll. I'm the middle billy goat gruff, said the goat. I'm a troll, full de roll, and I'll eat you for my supper, bellowed the terrible troll. Please don't eat me. I'm too skinny to eat, said the middle billy goat gruff. My brother will be here soon. He's bigger than me and much tastier. Again, the terrible troll decided to wait for the bigger, tastier goat. So he allowed the middle billy goat gruff to cross the bridge into the meadow where the best and greenest grass grew. <gasps> then it was the turn of the big billy goat gruff. He looked very fierce with his big curved horns and long beard. He went noisily trip, trot, trip, trot, then stamp, stomp, stamp, stomp over the bridge. Who's that trip trotting over my bridge? shouted the terrible troll. I'm the big billy goat gruff. He shouted louder than the terrible troll. Look at his face. He is big. I'm a troll. Full de roll and I'll eat you for my supper, bellowed the terrible troll. And the billy goat said, no you will not, boomed the big billy goat gruff. He stamped his hooves over the bridge, stamp, stomp. And then he bent his head low and charged. What do you think is going to happen? Oh. The big billy goat gruff butted the terrible troll with his big horns 
and knocked him right off the bridge. The terrible troll fell with a huge splash into the river. With the terrible troll gone, the big billy goat gruff joined his brothers in the meadow where the best and greenest grass grew. And no one ever saw the terrible troll ever again. Now everyone could cross the bridge in safety and they all lived happily ever after. See everybody else coming across now that they got rid of the troll? That was a very fun story. My last story today is called Chicken Little, and maybe you have um, read a form of this book. What I liked about this book is its pictures. They have some interesting pictures. And this book was written by Rebecca and Ed Emberley. So Chicken Little, let's find out about Chicken Little. Chicken Little was not the brightest chicken in the coop. He was very excitable and prone to foolishness. One day he was doing nothing, his usual pastime, when an acorn fell from the sky and hit him in the head. Bonk, beep, he said. It knocked him senseless. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, he explained, exclaimed. The sky is falling, the sky is falling. I must run for my life. He grabbed his umbrella to protect his scrambled noggin and ran out into the world without much of a plan. It was not long before he bumped into Henny Penny. Bonk, ock, she said. Where are you going in such a rush, she squawked. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious. Chicken Little panted, the sky is falling, the sky is falling, and we must run for our lives. Oh my, said Henny Penny, and being witless herself, joined in without for any further questions. And off they ran, still no plan. Within minutes, they ran into Lucky Ducky. Bonk, ah! what he said. Hey, he quacked. Why are you in such a hurry? Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, huffed Chicken Little. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives. Henny Penny could not catch her breath, so she said nothing. Not wanting to be left out, Lucky Ducky joined in and off they ran. Still no plan. Momentarily, they ran into Lucy Goosey. Honestly, with names like this, is it any wonder? Bonk, ack, is what she said. Why don't you watch where you're going, she honked. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, rasped Chicken Little. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives. What a bother. I better come with you. What's the plan? asked the goose. Nope, no time for a plan, they puffed. The sky is falling, so off they ran. As it was growing dark, they ran into Turkey Lurkey. Bonk, whoop. How dare you, he gobbled. Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, croaked Chicken Little. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives. No time to explain. And off they ran. Soon the anxious little flock grew tired. They were not used to all this running. Then they ran into Foxy Loxy. See him right there? Bump, they ran right into him. My, my, rumbled the fox. Where are all these little birdies going at such a frantic pace? 
Oh my goodness, oh my gracious, gasped Chicken Little, who was now quite out of breath. The sky is falling and we are running for our lives. Oh my goodness, indeed, said the fox. We must find a place for you to rest. Step into this warm, dark cave where the sky cannot fall on you. Oh, goodness. Without any thought in their tired, feather heads. Oh, my gracious. The flock went forward gratefully into the warm, dark cave. Uh-oh, danger. Squat the hen, it stinks in here. And the floor is squishy and wet, quack the duck. Uh-oh, gobbled the turkey. Oh no, honk the goose. They must realize where they went. They go into the fox's mouth. Ah, 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 they all yell. Ah, shoot. Knees, the fox did. And look what happened. Oh, oh, quack. Oop. Oh, beep. They all got sneezed out. They were lucky. I hope they don't fall for that trick again. Well, thank you, boys and girls, for joining us today. And we look forward to seeing you in a couple of weeks. So have a great 4th of July, and we'll see you again next week for baby books, for board books. <laughs>